for your level-headed um, strategic approach and service in Congress. I think you're doing us all a favor. Um, but I did want to ask you where you are right now on the fast track of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the trade agreement that's going through Congress. I already know you're asking about that. I know. It's the only thing I really, really so, care about right now. Uh, and I did see the SDTT uh, article about the trade representative coming here, and that's why I'm concerned. Right. Okay. So. Um, I'm honestly undecided about it. I think we've had, Gretchen and I have had conversations. We've spoken with local labor and the faith community. It's a little bit ironic because it's the President, President Obama is trying to do a trade agreement with Asia. The, his theory, and if we should, we should hold him to this, is that if you don't do a trade agreement with Asia, you will let China set the rules. And when you're talking about protecting the environment, setting standards for workers, you don't want to do that. You want to set good enforceable rules that are higher. The other thing is, we don't have any tariffs to sell goods into our country, but we need trade deals to get tariffs ab abroad removed so that we can sell goods into those countries because most consumers in the future, because of demographics, will be overseas. So I think the President's goals are noble. The issues are that a lot of people feel like the NAFTA agreements ended up shipping jobs overseas effectively and that they weren't really, they weren't really good enforcement mechanisms. So the trade consideration is two parts. One is, do we give the president uh, trade promotion authority, or TPA, or some people call it fast track, which would allow him to go close a final deal to bring to Congress for an up or down vote with no amendments? Uh, and the Congress and the struggling, you know, Democrats and Republicans are struggling with, you know, what terms we would set to give up that authority. And right now, Gretchen, in the Senate. Um, Senator Wyden is trying to make a really different fast-track proposal that would be okay with folks. But we don't have that yet, and that, that information will be introduced we hope soon. Uh, and then the idea was we would vote on, on a deal. We had the, we had the um, ambassador, trade ambassador Froman come out. Uh, he visited a couple of our exporting uh, companies. One is solar turbines, which sells big equipment. One was Ballast Point Brewery. Because you know we would like to export beer, and our beer is better than German beer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a German citizen over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> German, you can't even vote. Why do I care about you? <laughs> Thank you Ask for being here. Next year. You make my picture. <laughs> make the picture look terrible. Uh, and at the end of the month, Gretchen, we we did find out. Can I say where that the Secretary of Labor is coming out? So we're going to have a conversation with them too. So we're, they're giving me a lot of, one of the things I have complained about, I love the president, I agree with his policies. He's not as good at engaging with the Congress. It doesn't come naturally to him like say President Clinton was, you can imagine. Uh, now they finally started to reach out to, to us to talk about it. So I appreciate that and we're going to run through their paces.